Hey guys, Russ Kit J back with another video for you. Today we're going to take a look at the MSI Z87i Gaming AC uh, Mini ITX motherboard. Now this is the new one in their gaming range. You may have seen all the gaming ranges features loads of different sizes, form factors and sockets. Um, but this is the 1150 Haswell socket Mini ITX and it's been kind of a beefed up version of the original Z87i that they've produced. I've done, of course, my usual trick and taken it out of the box ready and it's here. So let's get that out of the way and have a look at the board. So as you can see, first off the bat, it looks beautiful just like all the other gaming boards and this one, you know, is no exception for looks either. It's a um, matte black PCB, which I just adore the matte black PCBs on this. Um, but yeah, you consider it a beefed up version of the original Z87i. Um, I'm going to run you through everything on it. So um, one of the main features on this, it's got the super ferrite chokes. We've got more beefed up. There's a few extra on this board, um, you know, to go with the gaming theme. It's all extra power um, being delivered to the board. And you obviously you can see some aesthetic changes as well. However, the chipset cooler's got the Dragon, Red Dragon that we have seen in all the gaming range um, looks beautiful and of course the one of the lovely features I mentioned before the uh, heat sink for the MOSFETs is the awesome dragon looking lovely um, so this is for supports all your Haswell processors 1150 socket um, and supports up to 16 gigabytes of DDR3 because we've got just two slots um, We've got two power fan, three pin fan connections on this board as well, just above the processor socket there. Uh, USB header on there as well. Eight pin is just to the left above the heatsink. You should be able to run that. Just between that gap would be nice actually, just fit through there, lovely. Lower down here, we've got our PCI 16 slot. I think one of the things that have been um, added to this board that could be slightly adjusted is where the processor socket is. Now you can see it's very very close to the processor socket and if you're going to be using a third party cooler you may come into a little bit of trouble with what you can actually use because heat sinks obviously can be very big um, and it may become a slight problem with the bracket. Hopefully though because coolers are now getting so compact and you know not to do some very very compact slim coolers you shouldn't have too much of a problem um, finding one that would suit and not take up a lot of room either so you should be okay so further up at the board as well we've got our wi-fi connection point as well you can see on the side we'll go through that in a second but there's a cable that runs through for your wi-fi it's got uh, the world's fastest wi-fi that is at 802.11 ac which is five gigahertz so if you have this in a little gaming case you can take it to all your LAN events and you'll be uh, all suitable for Wi-Fi just connect up and you're ready to go 24 pin at the top right in you know perfect location USB header to the left of that you've got five SATA 6 gigabit per second connections as well and we'll take you through the ins and outs as well this board also features audio boost that we've seen on the micro ATX board as well um, so on the top left we've got a PS2 port two USB 2.0s, SPDIF, full-size HDMI and full-size display port. Your points for you are you can screw your antennas on for your Wi-Fi connection. DVI there, and you've got an East Hatter, four gigabyte, four gigabyte, uh, four USB 4.0, 3.0 ports, your killer LAN, and then your audio, it's 5.1 audio. So, catch my breath. Also included in the box, you get a few different things. You've got the, I'm sorry, Busy Gaming door hanger. Your Wi-Fi antennas to screw on and adjust as you wish. You get a quick start guide as well. As a driver's disc, it's stuck in there. We well, get, get two internal motherboards and then your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth um, drivers as well. A little quick user guide. Lovely um, IO shield, it's a red and black design. Obviously going in with the gaming theme as well. Two SATA cables and the lovely MSI gaming series case badge. Um, so that was a quick look at the 
MSI Z87i gaming AC motherboard. Um, beautiful board. If you're going to, you know, we've seen things come a long way in the the recent months with motherboards, and there's so much power in available in such a small form factor that it's a definite definite board you could consider into a little uh, micro ATX mini ITX gaming rig. Um, but thank you for watching, guys, and we'll see you all in the next video.